hi everyone in this video we are going to work on the dynamic domains in version 17 and it will apply to version 18 also so basically they have changed the dynamic domain behavior for the version 17 and I was getting a lot of requests for this so let's continue so what I have done here in the sales team I have added a new field allowed customers just a many to many field so basically what this field is doing is just a basic many to many field you can select as many customers as you want and over here in the sales order I have added a new field sales team I know we already have a sales team over here but just for the demo purposes I have added a new field sales team so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna show the sales team where the allowed customer is this one so I'm just gonna take this customer and if this customer is allowed customer for this sales team then I'm just gonna display this here so as you can see if I select any other customer the list is empty and if I select one of these two customers for example this one then it shows this one this record only we have other rec records also so uh, let me add customer here also so now it should display both of these teams for that customer alright so this is done using dynamic domains in Udo 17 so let's dive into the code and see how we can do it using the code alright so as of now as you can see that I have added this sales team additional sales team field here in the sales order and it is for now displaying all the sales team for all the customers so whatever customer I select it is displaying all the sales teams and in the sales team I have added a many to many normal partner field you can see it's just a field over here allowed customers in the sales team and I have added an additional team ID many to one field to the CRM team in sales order and a simple form view to display both of these fields in the respective views so now what we have to do we have to apply dynamic domain on this field if the customer is changed in the sales order so depending upon the customer the partner ID field we have to show dynamic list of sales team over here so first of all what we have to do now this is for the version 17 onwards for previous versions I already have recorded some videos on different ways of creating the dynamic domains so for now let's continue so we have to create a new field let's call it as sales team domain and this fields type will be binary so just name it as sales team domain and we have to make it a computed field and I'm just gonna add some function name here compute sales team domain and let's just type additional because my field name is this one all right so what we want is whenever the partner field is changed this domain should be changed so I'm just gonna put some API depends and inside let's loop for order in cell now it's always a good practice to do like this in order to prevent the singleton error so if we have partner so if the customer is selected what we want we want that all of the sales team who have this customer in the allowed customers should be displayed here so I'm just gonna add a basic domain we are going to set this field equals to a normal domain which will be this partner field should exist or I should say 
our sales order partner should exist in the allowed customers this field else I am just not going to show any sales team. and for that we can simply set ID as minus one since we know that no record can have this ID so it will be displaying an empty list so the Python part is done so what we have done let me just repeat we have created a binary field a computed binary field what it will do whenever this field is changed this function gets triggered and if we have the customer selected it will sh it will show us the sales team related to those customers otherwise it will give us an empty list so now we have to head over to the XML and we have to add this field in the view and just make it invisible because we don't want it to be visible on the front end and we can just simply add it here in with the domain tag that field so let me just restart and let's go and upgrade our module okay so now if I select a customer and you see the related teams will be displayed here for this customer because there is no team so it will be displaying the empty list again if I select this one only this team is selected it will be displaying only this team. so this is how in version 17 onwards and in version 18 you can add dynamic domains for different fields which can be set up based on triggers of different fields now this can be done in uh, different ways in the previous versions but uh, some of those are not supported in this version and I was getting a lot of requests for this one so I decided to make a video for this so I hope you find it useful so please like and subscribe the channel thank you